Hey friends, in this video let's demonstrate how we can use Redis to send a simple message from a Lambda function to an EC2 instance. This is a great option when you need a simple messaging system and you don't care about losing packages or retries. One thing to note is that subscribing requires a long leaning process, so Lambda doesn't work with that. If you need that, use SQS instead. In a previous video, we created this simple Lambda function that connects to Redis. Let's see if it still works. It's working. Let's tweak the function a bit. So instead of using it as a cache, let's instead publish a message to my channel with a JSON object, hello from Lambda, and that's it. We deploy it and we test it out. It's working, but now we're just missing a consumer. Last time we reused the default security group. Let's now do it properly. Let's create a security group, my Lambda SG. Create. And the next one, my EC2 SG. And for inbound rules, we add SSH. Create. And the last one, the most interesting one, my red is SG. And we add inbound rules. We need to open the port for the security groups of the Lambda function. And then additionally, for the EC2 instance we created. And create. Let's now apply the new security groups. We go to our Lambda, configuration, VPC, edit. We remove the default security group and we find the Lambda security group and we save. This took a few minutes to get applied. Let's navigate to the Redis, network and security, security groups, modify, security, manage here. So we remove the default one and we set it here Redis and we choose preview changes immediately yes modify let's now navigate into ec2 and create an instance for the subscriber call it my ec2 we'll use amazon linux 2 2023 t2 micro we have a key pair here let's use that let's select an existing security group my ec2 security group the one we created and launch instance. We need Node.js for our EC2 instance. AWS has a good documentation for how to set that up. Let's now SSH into the machine and set up Node according to the instructions. Now we need the application code. Let's create a folder, call it my app, go into it and npm in it. Let's now npm install Redis and now we create index.js and we paste in some code. We need to add here the path to our Redis, so we do that here and this code creates a client with the default port and then we subscribe to our channel. We get a message from my channel and we write out the message. Let's save the file and try to run it. It's working, it's doing something, it's waiting for a message. Let's now try this out, publishing a message from Lambda and see if it comes here in the terminal. So from our Lambda, we run it and let's see what happens here. Oh, oh awesome! Well, that's it for this simple video. I hope you liked it. Please send me a message if you have a question. Thank you.